Walt Disney was an American motion picture and television producer and showman, famous as a pioneer of cartoon films, including Mickey Mouse, and as the creator of the amusement park Disneyland and Disney World. Walt Elias, known as Walt Disney, co-founded Walt Disney Productions with his brother Roy, which became one of the best known motion picture production companies in the world. Disney was an innovative animator and created the cartoon character Mickey Mouse. He won 22 Academy Awards during his lifetime and was the founder of theme parks Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Walt Disney was born on December 5th, 1901 in the Hermosa section of Chicago, Illinois. He lived most of his childhood in Marceline, Missouri, where he began drawing, painting and selling pictures to neighbors and family friends. In 1911, his family moved to Kansas City, where Disney developed a love for trains. His uncle, Mike Martin, was a train engineer who worked the route between Fort Madison, Iowa and Marceline. Later, Disney would work a summer job with the railroad, selling snacks and newspapers to travelers. Disney attended McKinley High School in Chicago, where he took drawing and photography classes and was a contributing cartoonist for the school paper. At night, he took courses at the Art Institute of Chicago. When Disney was 16, he dropped out of school to join the army, but was rejected for being underage. Instead, he joined the Red Cross and was sent to France for a year to drive an ambulance. He moved back to the US in 1919. Disney moved to Kansas City to pursue a career as a newspaper artist. His brother Roy got him a job at the Pesman Rubin Art Studio, where he met cartoonist Oob Ert Iwerks, better known as Oob Iwerks. From there, Disney worked at the Kansas City Film Ad Company, where he made commercials based on cutout animation. Around this time, Disney began experimenting with a camera doing hand-drawn cell animation. He decided to open his own animation business. From the ad company, he recruited Fred Harmon as his first employee. Disney and Harmon made a deal with a local Kansas City theater to screen their cartoons, which they called Laughograms. The cartoons were hugely popular and Disney was able to acquire his own studio, upon which he bestowed the same name. Laughogram hired a number of employees, including iWorks and Harmon's brother Hugh. They did a series of seven minute fairy tales that combined both live action and animation, which they called Alice in Cartoonland. However, by 1923, the studio had become burdened with debt and Disney was forced to declare bankruptcy. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to remember this if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content. Disney and his brother Roy moved to Hollywood with cartoonist Oob Iwerks in 1923 and there the three began the Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio. The company soon changed its name to Walt Disney Studios at Roy's suggestion. The Walt Disney Studios' first deal was with the New York distributor Margaret Winkler to distribute their Alice cartoons. They also invented a character called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and contracted the shorts at $1,500 each. In the late 1920s, the studios broke from their distributors and created cartoons featuring Mickey Mouse and his friends. In December 1939, a new campus for Walt Disney Animation Studios was opened in Burbank. In 1941, a setback for the company occurred when Disney animators went on strike. Many of them resigned. It would be years before the company fully recovered. One of the studio's most popular cartoons, Flowers and Trees, in 1932, was the first to be produced in color and to win an Oscar. In 1933, The Three Little Pigs and its title song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf, became a theme for the country in the midst of the Great Depression. Disney's first successful film starring Mickey Mouse was a sound and music equipped animated short called Steamboat Willie. It opened at the Colony Theatre in New York on November the 18th, 1928. Sound had just made its way into film and Disney was the voice of Mickey, 
a character he had developed and that was drawn by his chief animator, Oob Iwerks. The cartoon was an instant sensation. The Disney brothers, their wives and Iwerks produced two earlier silent animated shorts starring Mickey Mouse, Playing Crazy and The Gallopin' Gaucho, Out of Necessity. The team had discovered that Disney's New York distributor, Margaret Winkler, and her husband, Charles Mintz, had stolen the rights to the character Oswald and all of the Disney animators except for Iwerks. The two earliest Mickey Mouse films failed to find distribution as sound was already revolutionizing the movie industry. In 1929, Disney created Silly Symphonies, featuring Mickey's newly created friends, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy and Pluto. Disney produced more than 100 feature films. His first full-length animated film was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which premiered in Los Angeles on December 21, 1937. It produced an unimaginable $1.499 million in spite of the Great Depression, and it also won eight Oscars. This led Walt Disney Studios to complete another string of full-length animated films over the next five years. During the mid-1940s, Disney created packaged features, groups of shorts strung together to run at feature length. By 1950, he was once again focusing on animated features. Disney's last major success that he produced himself was the motion picture Mary Poppins, which came out in 1964 and mixed live action and animation. A few other of Disney's most famous movies include Pinocchio in 1940, Fantasia also in 1940, Dumbo in 1941, Bambi in 1942, Cinderella and Treasure Island in 1950, Alice in Wonderland 1951, Peter Pan in 1953, the Lady and the Tramp in 1955, Sleeping Beauty 1959, and 101 Dalmatians in 1961. Disney was also among the first people to use television as an entertainment medium. The Zorro and Davy Crockett series were extremely popular with children, as was the Mickey Mouse Club, a variety show featuring a cast of teenagers known as the Mouseketeers. Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color was a popular Sunday night show which Disney used to begin promoting his new theme park. Disney's $17 million Disneyland theme park opened on July the 17th, 1955 in Anaheim, California on what was once an orange grove. Actor and future US President Ronald Reagan presided over the activities. After a tumultuous opening day involving several mishaps, including the distribution of thousands of counterfeit invitations, the site became known as a place where children and their families could explore, enjoy rides, and meet the Disney characters. In a very short time, the park had increased its investment tenfold and was entertaining tourists from around the world. Disneyland has expanded its rides over time and branched out globally with Walt Disney World near Orlando, Florida and parks in Tokyo, Paris, Hong Kong and Shanghai. Sister property California Adventure opened in Los Angeles in 2001. Within just a few years of Disneyland's 1955 opening, Disney began plans for a new theme park and to develop experimental prototype community of tomorrow, known as Epcot in Florida. On December the 15th, 1966, animation legend Walt Disney died from complications of lung cancer for which he had undergone surgery just over a month earlier. A private funeral was held the next day and on December the 17th, his body was cremated and interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. After Disney's death, his brother Roy carried on the plans to finish the Florida theme park, which opened in 1971 under the name Walt Disney World. But while Disney undoubtedly lives on through the legacy of the beloved feature films and theme parks that comprise much of his life's work, shortly after his death, a rumor began to circulate 
that he might be living on in a more literal sense as well, with his body suspended in a frozen state and buried deep beneath the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland in Anaheim, California, awaiting the day when medical technology would be advanced enough to reanimate the animator. Over the years, proponents of this seemingly absurd rumor have cited the secrecy surrounding Disney's death and burial as evidence of its veracity. They claim that the news of his passing was intentionally delayed in order to give his handlers time to place his body in cryonic suspension and that both his funeral and the actual location of his burial plot have been kept secret as a means of further concealing the truth of his interment. Disney's lifelong interest in the future, projects such as his Epcot Center and the technical innovations for which he was known throughout his career, would no doubt have lent the rumor a certain air of truth, while a Time Magazine article about the cryonic freezing of a 73-year-old psychology professor also lent its weight. Disney's daughter, Diane, wrote in a 1972 biography about her famous father that she doubted her father had even heard of cryonics. It has been further discredited by those pointing to the existence of signed legal documents that indicate Disney was in fact cremated and that his remains are interred in a marked plot for which his estate paid $40,000 at Forest Lawn, the exact location of which is a matter of public record. Disney was known to be a very private man in life, making the quiet circumstances of his cremation and burial far from suspect and the assertions regarding Mr. Disney's cryonic suspension have been widely rejected as unfounded. Cryonics is also not without its detractors, however. Its science has been largely dismissed as fantastical. Still, it's the futuristic stuff of science fiction that maybe even Disney himself would have appreciated. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have a favorite Disney character or maybe a favorite Disney movie that you keep on going back to? Let us know in the comments below and if you haven't already done so, click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content.